Hello and welcome to Gamer Social. My name is Refid. I'm here in my Watchdogs stuttering fix. So this is as of uh, August 2014. So this is after the release of the patch that came out on the 30th of July 2014. Um, so I've had a lot of issues with Watchdogs on the PC using ultra settings, um, and it's been a real pain in the ass. Uh, especially seeing as I've been trying to do uh, some gaming content, but it's been unplayable, completely unplayable. Unfortunately, I have it on console so I can get by, but I like to have the best graphics. So, in terms of the patch itself, uh, it says here that they've optimized some of the performance issues that were causing some users, probably most users, to experience high amounts of stuttering while playing Watch Dogs. And it says instances of stuttering during gameplay should now be reduced, especially when using high textures. However, some players might still experience some stuttering while playing the ultra textures. The problem is, I do use the ultra textures, and this patch has done nothing for me. I've done some tests, and I can't notice any difference at all. Uh, the stuttering affects me when I drive, and I'm walking around, it's fine. Not a problem. I get 60 frames per second uh, with VSync on, not a problem at all. When I'm driving, yeah, different story. Completely unplayable. And when you're trying to record, it's, it's unrecordable. It's not good enough, really. So in terms of my rig... Uh, I have the NVIDIA uh, GeForce GTX Titan Z, the EVGA version. Um, so I have a, a, you know, a tremendous amount of graphical power inside my computer, which is great. Uh, I have an Intel Core i7-3770K, a uh, clock speed of 3.5 GHz, but it's actually overclocked to 4.5 GHz. And I have 32 GB, uh, gigabytes of RAM. Uh, obviously, I do a lot of video production, as you may already guess. Uh, also, a lot of visual effects and uh, CGI, so I require that additional RAM. So that's why I have it, in case you wonder why I got um, an overkill amount of uh, computer RAM. Um, also, the, the Titan Z also helps that same sort of uh, computer imagery that I work on. Uh, resolution is 1920 by 1080 60 Hz. And I'm using Windows 7. So in terms of my my rig, there shouldn't be a single problem running a game like this. Though there's no reason why it should struggle, but it does. So if we jump in the game, I can show you what it currently performs like on my rig um, without doing the little fix that I've come up with, uh, and then I'll show you the difference when I do apply the fix. And hopefully it will work the same for you as well. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump in and see what happens. And so here we are in Watch Dogs, currently uh, recording at 30 frames per second, but the game is, is playing about 40 to 60 frames per second, so it's not hitting the 60 frames as it should. And uh, you probably can't hear it, but my graphics card is breathing like hell, completely going crazy trying to keep up with this game. It's ridiculous. But in terms of running around, um, you can notice that the video itself is very smooth. And this is without the fix at the moment, yeah? This is, this is the game as it is with the current patch. So running around is not a single problem for me, it's perfectly fine. Out the way, bitch. Um, it's not a single problem. If I jump in a car, it's going to be a different story. Let's break the window, and we'll start driving around. And uh, so still currently 30 frames per second. I will do some a little benchmark test as well, so you can see. And uh, it's got really bright as well. And as you can see there, stuttering. And what the hell just happened there? <laughs> um, but you can see it is stuttering like crazy. Uh, well, not so much now, but it was uh, had a, a bit of a jump. So I'm currently hitting 30 frames in terms of um, well, the video's hitting 30. I'm getting about 40 frames a second in the game, but it is dipping down every now and then. And this brightness you see at the moment is a little of a glitch in the game. I do know how to fix it, but yeah, that's how it is. And as you can see, it's not that smooth. You can see it's a little bit, it's a little bit jumpy. It's a little bit jumpy, and I don't like it. I don't like the fact that. The game drops below 30 frames per second. You see there, going around that corner, that was not smooth at all. You know, that was jerky. Um, one thing I do just like as well is how the cars kind of pop in the background, but unfixable, really. So, yeah, um, not so good. I don't think it's as bad as it was. The patch may have helped a little bit, but it hasn't resolved the problem altogether. It really hasn't resolved the problem at all. So, I will show you my settings as well. Video entry display, uh, resolution as it should be, refresh rate 60, yes, pressure audio, auto, window mode full screen, VSync is one frame, uh, GPU mass buffer frames is one, textures are on ultra as you can see, anti is out right at the top, TXAA four times, and uh, windscreen letterbox is off. In terms of the graphics quality, you can see it's ultra, 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 HBAO plus high, on, on, ultra, and high. And this is what the game gives me jerkiness to the point that it gets really annoying and it can you know I've um this should be it should be it really close now cool I have no idea um 
Oh, there we go. The brightness has created itself. <laughs> I, yeah, there is a way you can kind of fix that just by flipping some settings. It's really simple, but I don't know why it does it, but it is a bit of a boy. It tends to do it when you close the game and then reopen again. Um, but anyway, back to it. Back now we have a proper brightness. But yeah, so you can see it, it's jerky. Um, and it, it does depend on the car you drive it. There you go, jerk there. Not good enough, right? You see that was horrible. If I get out of the car, it's not a single problem. My frames are going at probably 51, 50. Even that is not where it should be. It's in the 40s. But at least the actual video capture is still going at 30. Doesn't seem to have a problem. So this is my little fix that I've, that I've done. On display, if you put VSync to two frames, it's going to cap the game at 30 frames per second. Um, so I'm going to do that and leave everything else as it is and see what the difference is like. So, running around, just waiting for my computer to settle down a little bit. So right now doing a bit of running, testing it, it's stable at 30, more or less. It's more or less stable. My graphics card is still humming but not as noisy, it's just coming back down, getting back into, getting back to it a little bit. It's uh, starting to cope with the game itself. Good. And it's getting nice and quiet now. Let's get in a car, shall we? So my graphics card has now gone quiet. I can hardly hear my computer. So the, the graphics itself is now handling it. So if I drive around now, I'm not expecting any sort of stutter. We might get the very odd frame rate drop here and there. I mean, it is bollocks. It is possible to um, lose the odd frame. Like every now and then I see it drop for 29 and flip back up to 30 immediately. But it's not noticeable on the video. So, with this, yes, you have to cut down the amount of frames you get. There was a bit of lag there, actually. Not too bad. It's better than what it was, right? Much better than what it was. Much, much better. There's very little noticeable. So, yeah, you've got to drop down from your 60 frames, or whatever you try and do. And you've got to put up with 30 frames. But at least the game is playable. It's far smoother now. And I can actually play the game. Right, too much bother. Sorry there, Mr. Garden Man. You know, I'm more impressed with, with the game now that it's doing this. And, and because I capture it 30 frames anyway, it doesn't make much of a difference. I, I use DX Tori to capture, so what the video is currently captured with now. I recently switched over to DX Tori. The great thing with that is the game can play back at 60 frames per second and still record at 30. So I still get the benefits of nice 60 frames smoothness, and the video does what it needs to. But I don't mind playing at 30. You know, there is a little bit of a noticeable difference in terms of, you know, the difference between 60 and 30 frames, but overall, this is, this is good, this is nice, right? This is nice and smooth, this is nice and playable. You know, I can, I can do that. Whoa, hello, I just shot through a tree. I can, way Yeah, that was fun. So that is much better for me. That is much, much better. The frames are where they should be, I would say. Get another car and just do a little test because it does seem to change depending on the cars that you drive. And hello, I just spun around randomly and smashed through here a little bit. So Ubisoft have promised there is going to be further fixes coming out. So hopefully, when we get a fix for the ultra textures, we can push it back up to the 60 frames. You know, and hopefully the game will actually achieve that frame rate and all will be well. But right now, it's it's nice and smooth. It's nice and smooth. You know, I, I can play this, and I can record in this. I am losing the odd frame here and there, but I can't see it. It's, it's not stutter. You know, frame rate loss is is okay. It happens. You know, computers got to do a lot of work, but it's the constant stuttering and just general crapness of driving that this game had. Whereas this is alright. Stay alert. Whee! So yeah, I'm happy with this. That is my fix, basically. Use VSync 2 cap it to 30 and give it a go. Ramp up the settings to where you want them to be, whatever your computer can handle, you know, if you use an Ultra, and see what you can do. If you're using high textures, um, then you should be okay, really. But give it a go and see what see what works for you. But this has worked for me, so I thought it'd be good to share it and see if it works for you guys as well. That's the pier in front of me, I'm sure it wasn't there before. Let's shoot it. Bitch. Sign. Doesn't want to do it. How about you then? Yeah, I shot you in the face. So let's, I'm going to do a few... Um, frame rate benchmarks so you can actually see the results. I'm going to use Fraps for the actual test itself. I'm going to do the test with VSync 1 then VSync 2 so I can show you. So I'll see you in just a second on the desktop as we compare the results. Is there a cop near me? Not yet. You there, umbrella? You can die. Hi there. Boom. Missed you. Boom. There you go. See you in a second. How dare you call people. 
bitch. All right, so the results are in. I've done two tests, one with VSync 1, the other with VSync 2 using fraps. Um, so yeah, uh, what I've done on here is I've got, I did it with both for two minutes of purely driving around. So all I did was driving around two minutes using the same car, pretty much go around in circles. Um, so obviously, VSync 1, the target is 60 frames per second. Now, you already know that my computer can't seem to hit that. Don't know why, because the rig is perfectly capable of doing it. For whatever reason, in Watch Dogs, it isn't possible. So these are the frame rates that I managed to get, and you can see here the variance. There's a lot of reds. Whenever there's a red, it means it didn't hit its target rate. Whenever it's zero, it means it did hit the target rate. Whenever it's green, it means it exceeded the target rate. So you see here, there it's mostly red. It is mostly red, and some quite large ones as well. 24 frames short. Um, 20 frames short down there. 16 frames short. 14 and 11. I had a max of 62 frames per second. A minimum of 35. That's a big difference from the actual target, with an average of 55. So the average isn't too bad. But in terms of that, it's, uh, it's not so much the frame rates that's the problem, it's just the stuttering when you're driving. For whatever reason, it stutters more than anything. Um, but as you can see, the frame rates are not, they're not hitting it, they're not hitting 60, where they should be, really easily. Because it can pretty much, when, it, when I'm outside the car running around it, 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 for the most part maintains it, I would get better frame rates. Uh, but as you can see here, for the V-Sync 2, uh, again, same color coding, uh, mostly yellows, meaning it's, it's hit its target. Occasionally, look, you can see here, it's gained a frame, it's lost a frame. It's lost a frame, it's then gained a frame. It's just correcting itself because it's having a little bit of a struggle. Lost a frame, gained a frame, lost a frame, gained a frame. You know, it's every now and then, it's, it's just flipping here and there. Whenever it loses a couple of frames, it's, it, it's, it regains it. So whether that's actually true frame drops, I'm not too sure. It's a little blip by the looks of it. Something's going on that make, making it want to push more frames out. So maybe it's just like a slight stutter here and there. So it is better. It's not perfect. You know, this method isn't perfection, but for me, it makes the game playable. And hopefully it will make the game playable for you as well. That's what's important while we wait for further updates from Ubisoft. Uh, so going down to the bottom here, you can see I had a max of 39. That happened right at the very end, I think, when the, when the thing finished. Uh, a minimum of 28. Only two difference from my target of 30 frames with an average of 30. So I hit it. I achieved it. And that makes a big difference. So I would recommend trying this, see if it works for you. Uh, you know, let me know. It'd be really interesting if it is actually working for, for more than just me. Um, but thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this, is a, this will help you out. So um, just got to wait really for, for future updates from Ubisoft to make the game even more playable. But at least now I can actually sit back and relax and have a bit of fun in this game. Thanks for watching, guys.